Hey everyone, Coach Vest, we're back with another video for you today. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a very interesting company in the fashion and e-commerce industry, which is called Revolve. Now, unlike most fashion companies, these founders had zero experience in the fashion industry, a bit like how Lemonade's founders had zero experience in the insurance industry. But what they did have is an analytical approach, which is key to this company's success. We're going to see later on why. This company has 4.5 million followers on Instagram. It has three brands of its own. Revolve the normal brand, Revolve for men, and then Forward, which is the high luxury brand. Now Revolve offers a lot of its own brand, but also third party brands. We're going to see how all of that works a bit later. But first, I would like to thank everyone that has been subscribing lately. We're on the way to 15,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, leave it an early thumbs up as it really helps you outgrow the channel and get my videos out there. I would also like to thank today's sponsor, The Motley Fool. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me find the latest growth stock and innovative company. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services, the full offers. Through the Motley Fool's stock advisor service, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month you'll get two picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals. Stock advisors' average stock picks have returned over 500%. If growing your money is something you'd like to do more this year, you can visit www.fool.com slash couch investor or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if stock advisor is right for you let's get on with this video right but first let's quickly look at the graph and then add some key numbers from the earnings report because it's going to be very important for this video so as we can see the stock is down 20 percent from its all-time highs just a week ago the stock has fared very very well in times of a pandemic, which is a bit weird. You might ask yourself, how does this happen? But we're going to see later why this company is very well positioned for the reopening. I currently do not hold any shares of Revolve, but if it drops to $40, it would be very, very tempting for me to open a position. Now quickly going over their key numbers in their last earnings report. So first up, we have net sales reported in 2020, down actually 3% from $601 million to 580.6. Net income is actually up 59% from $36 million. Average order value, which is a key metric here, is also down from $275 million. And 77% of net sales were sold at full price in 2020 a bit down from the 79% the year prior. And gross margin in 2020 is at 52.6%. Now good to know is that gross margin for Q4 2020 was at 56% compared to 52.9% the prior Q4. Right, so overall pretty good numbers. Now you might ask yourself how come net sales are down 3% but net income is up so much. So we're going to talk about that in a bit because that's the main part that makes Revolve actually amazing is the data side of the business. Now, like I said, Revolve offers a lot of its own brands, but it offers also third party brands, which they put on their website. They actually have three, the men's one, the Revolve normal one and the Revolve forward, which is the high end luxury brand. Now, one of their main strategies is the use of social media influencer. So you might have seen some of them on Instagram probably, maybe in some of their videos of their festival, because there is actually a Revolve festival, which is also where most of the marketing, most of the sales are coming from, which have obviously taken a hit because of the pandemic. But let's take this tweet for an example. Nick tweeted this, so quote, example of why this is currently my favorite e-commerce apparel company reopening stock to own. A friend of mine wanted this dress for the summer, she said it sold out her size and all sizes within a day of this post. The influencer here has 1.6 million followers. So this is obviously the post. You can buy it directly through the post. So that's just to show how popular Revolve actually is. One famous influencer posts a picture of a nice dress. In a day, it is sold out in all sizes. Now here comes the algorithm, the data side of Revolve. So Revolve actually uses its own customized technology platform to automate and map its inventory in real time. This will actually allow the company to create and order products based on actual demand. So usually what happens is a company has a huge pile of stock and products that don't sell usually are left behind and are sold maybe at 50% off, 75% off, 
two for one, whatever. With reverse technology, that usually never happens or rarely happens because they know exactly what their customer wants. If it's out of stock, if it's really in demand, they can ask their designers, hey, this product here is really in demand. Can you create that? Yes, great. It's going to be in stock in just a week or two. So unlike the traditional companies who have to guess what is trending right now, what does the customer want? Revolve is usually one step ahead, knows exactly what you want, how you want it, etc. And that way with the designers that they work, like I said, they can help those designers actually increase their sales. Now they can also obviously ask that third party brand, look, this is highly demanded. Do you have it in stock? If so, great, they can buy it through the third party, but obviously Revolve gets a cut. If that third party tells them, look, we're out of stock, we're not making that product anymore, all right, they can do it in-house, which is maybe better for them anyways. Now, obviously it doesn't work only one way. If they see that the product is not great and is not working anymore, they can just say, okay, let's cut this production and let's sell what we have today and that's it. That's why they have 70% of their product that are sold at full price. So why is this company a great reopening play? Well, in my opinion, they've had great results during a pandemic, even though they couldn't advertise and market their product during those live concerts, live events, Revolve Festival, which are usually pretty good for them. And that's why when everything reopens, usually if there's a new festival announcer or whatever, right now people are super excited to get outside, to go to events. And I think that's when Revolve really, really will thrive. And not only that, when traveling reopens, obviously people will stop wearing their PJs at home and will start maybe buying some fancy schmancy clothes that they want to wear when they're going to the Bahamas, to Hawaii or whatever. But so to conclude, I really like what Revolve is doing. I really like this company. I don't know why it has not been on my radar earlier, but hey, better late than never. Like I said, if it drops to $40 or below, I might actually open a position in that company because I think it has everything a great company needs to have to be in a portfolio great management, great numbers, even in times like these, very well positioned for the reopening. I think when festivals and concerts will be back, people will be super excited to go to them. When they will launch the Revolve Festival, I expect it to be huge. They've got lots of influencers behind them. Basically everything is going great for Revolve, so why not invest in them? Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this company. Do you have this company in your portfolio? Let me know down in the comments below, or maybe you're a customer. And that will be it for this video. If you liked it, consider leaving a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.